Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh my god, 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 please. Big challenger? Yes! Mewtwo! 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 He's Mewtwo! Mewtwo, come on, please! Mewtwo! 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 It's not Mewtwo! It's not Mewtwo! It's Mewtwo! It's Mewtwo! Wait, Mewtwo! Mewtwo! That is so Mewtwo! It's Mewtwo! Oh my god! Grey Ninja! Grey Ninja! I'm impressed, but why? Mewtwo's back. Who the hell is this? Hey guys, it is I, Cyanize. Now, it's almost been two weeks since I last uploaded, and I've been busy. It, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I said that last time, but in any case, this has been a rough week, so I hope you forgive me. And the current video is in the works right now. I I have a little sneak on screen, so there you go. <laughs> Enjoy that. But, um, yeah, so y you can read the title and everything. Greninja, Pokemon of the Year. Like... And I know most people aren't surprised. I mean, I'm not either, but like, put that into perspective. There's like, I think 900 Pokemon currently. And it's like, you know, you, you think about that and you're just like, wow, out of all the Pokemon, Greninja was the one who stood consistent throughout his debut to now. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy if you think about it. Like, like I, I don't know. When did X and Y come out? Like 2012, 2013? Like, oh my god. And it's 2020 right now. And Greninja won for 2020. That's crazy. And, you know, from his journey, like, ever since his journey, from Froki to the Greninja reveal for his, you know, debut X and Y to Smash 4. I mean, not many people liked him in Smash 4. But even then, he still rose. Smash 4, the anime, which arguably has some of the best fights in the entire series of Pokemon. And you know, then he got Ash Greninja, which just made everything 20 times better. <laughs> and then, you know, uh, Sun and Moon happened, but I, I mean, you know, afterwards at least Ultimate happened and you know, Greninja got to shine once more. And yeah, it was kind of the, kind of the main highlights. He is a very good Pokemon in competitive play and he has a really cool shiny, really cool moves, uh, best hidden ability. <laughs> Arguably one of the best hidden abilities ever uh, and yeah, it's like, you know all these reasons for like Greninja to stay up and stay popular and to stay in everyone's hearts and be as great as he is like I couldn't be more thankful and I I know like some people could see this video and just think oh man He just likes uh, Greninja because you know uh, overpopular Pokemon overrated. Oh my god but the truth is like <laughs> I, I, I'm a boomer. I would consider myself the boomer of the Greninja line. Uh, and that's what I'm about to tell you. I'm going to tell you how I gain my appreciation for Greninja, let alone got to where I am. So, 2012, XY, Froki was revealed. My, yeah, I, I like that starter. Like, I was, you know, I was mixed between Fennekin and Froki, but Froki, it won out. Most people that didn't really like Froki that much... At least that's what I think. I don't know. I don't think people cared that much, and I can't blame them because the three starters they they don't look better than each other, but they don't look worse either. It's kind of a sword and shield issue, you know? How they like they look good, but there's nothing like stopping one of them from being good over the other. Fast forward to when Greninja was revealed. Uh, not many people liked him. You no, know, people didn't like his scarf tongue or whatever. And honestly, I can't blame them because. <laughs> It is kind of weird, and how, like, how do you do that? Like, that's crazy. But you know, people grew attached to it. They liked it, and yeah, including myself, I loved it. I loved the design. I loved everything about it. And yeah, I was a fan. I was a fan ever since Froki. I was a huge fan, and I just kept going. I just kept going. I loved them. I loved them so much. Then I used to run a channel that involved Froki because he was my favorite Pokemon at the time. Uh, well. You can see now that I'm Greninja, but I, I loved the Froki line. It was great. It, it was I don't I don't understand. Like if Froki didn't exist, you know, Superior like Superior would have been my favorite, and it still is. But like with Greninja being out, it's who it's I don't know. I, I can't put it into words. But basically, you know, watching Greninja in the anime, you know, seeing him build up. 
and be oh yeah smash 4 when he was revealed i my child mind it it went crazy like i i remember seeing people's reactions on youtube and everyone's like oh my god me too oh my god wait wait it's not me too wait, wait I, I can't be hyped anymore but you know i wasn't one of those few and this might sound weird but greninja was like one of those characters that like Basically, Greninja was my Banjo-Kazooie. Like, I screamed out of my mind knowing that, oh my god, one of my favorite starters is just joining Smash out of the blue. And it was crazy. And it, it was... I don't know, it was so weird. Like, if Greninja was in Smash 4, I probably wouldn't have cared about the Smash series as much as I do. Like, it might sound stupid, but believe it or not, the only reason I bought Smash 4 was single-handedly because Greninja was in the game. I was like, oh my god, Greninja's in the game, can I get this game now? <laughs> and then yeah, you know, I saw the anime, and yeah, it was great, it was great, everything about Greninja is great, I can't stress that enough, I, I might be repeating myself constantly, but Greninja's great, I am, I know some people might hate it now, because it's overrated, but, you know, unlike Charizard, it wasn't milk to death, and it was like a Pokemon that like, it wasn't immediately given the spotlight, but people, like, it, it just gave, it got a little push, and then people started to realize, oh hey, you know, this Pokemon? I think this Pokemon's pretty cool, and then, yeah, Sun and Moon happened, also, it's, he, like, Ash Greninja got into the game, that's crazy! And yeah, uh, I kind of just made this video just to talk about Greninja, and the, there may not be much thought put into this video, I mean, this whole thing is unscripted, but, yeah, it's just... It's crazy. I am, I'm happy Greninja got his placement and where he is. Uh, also, Lucario, Mimikyu, top three. I'm just saying, those three, those three are a gang. Those three, best friends forever. Let's go. And yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed my little rambling about this. And hope you guys enjoyed Pokemon Day. This is probably going to be uploaded a little later because... Yeah, I didn't have enough time to do anything today. But yeah, I hopefully will get back to uploading. But issues arose this week and last week but yeah we're coming back we are coming back and we're gonna do everything perfectly okay that's a lie and yeah just i love greninja and you know i'm happy for him i'm happy for him and you should be too and it's yeah it's also how i got to cyanide you know i got <laughs> greninja and azura fused together like my, my mascot man it's, it's awesome all right i'm gonna stop saying awesome have yourselves a great one